Well, so now for the last the last year, uh, we saw that we got into a little try to understand uh, a difficulty and try to understand some of the ideas here. Now, if you were zayichet to hear any mashiurim on uh, Shara Tanta, or uh, we learned a little bit about Miluim, and now we have a little bit of an understanding that the letters are how how the combination of how letters work uh, has a lot to do with the shefa that comes to us. So we're actually on page Kupe Dalit, if you have the uh, the pages. Well, let me just check something here on my computer for a second. Okay. And so now I'm going to try to go over this little piece here. Here's a pencil. Here. This little piece here and, and see if I can't explain it out in such a way that we can get used to it. So he said, so we know. So I said the cottonus. Like is the cottonus is the normal state of za. Za is why what is cottonus? Cottonus cottonus is called the Vav Kitzva. That's why he called it Vak. It's a it's a abbreviation of that name. And as a result of that, in the Vav in the, the Vav Kitzvah, he although it attends spheros in the Vav Kitzva, a complete human being, when a person is actualized and connected to Hashem, which could be every which a tzaddik could do if he could concentrate on it every moment of every day. Okay, but at least if you have three times a day that you could come to a place where you want to be Davik Dasham, this Vekus automatically brings you to Godless if you can get there. That's the whole idea. Other than that, you're in Khan. Just like Za. Za during this period of time is in Khan. Gamhu Kala Bechasad and the Gavuros, and inside of his Das, that Das of, of Za in Katnas, has Chasadim and Gavuros in it. Now he uses this word, Vishte Itrim Elu. That is, the Itrim means the crowns. I mean, the Shorish, in other words, of Das, inside of Das, are two Shrashim. They're called Itrim, they're called crowns. One is of Chasadim. We're not here to talk about what Chasadim are or what they do. Or, and the other one is called Gavuros. There are five Gavuros. Each one of them, as I said before, they follow the five basic spheros, which are Chesed to Od. Because they just say, like, simply that Yisod is a Kolel and Malchus is a Kolel of the Kolel. So he said, Vishte Itrin Elu, that is Chasad and Gavuros, the Itrin of the crowns of Chasad and Gavuros, Heim Shem Elokim Demilu Elofi. Now, so I got went a little bit slowly over there, so let me try to think and get my brain tightened up a little bit more. What do these Chasadim and Gavuros look like? Well, they're all, uh, they look like the name Elokem. That's what they are. At least the Gavuros part. So they're Shem Elokem de Milui Elofim. Now, as I said yesterday, let's say we can make any word, any Hebrew word, and we can make it into a Milui. The Milui means we fill it out. So let's say like the word is, is uh, is uh, alafim. That's the one we're dealing with, right? Or elokim. So let's take elokim. So we could take the word, the first letter is aleph, aleph lamed fe, and the second letter is lamed, lamed mem dalid, right? Let me make sure I got, here we are. So the next one is k. Now the k is the only letter of all of these that could be switched for something else. It could be switched either, it could be spelled k yud, which is k, K K, which is K, and K Aleph, which is K. And it changes the gematria. And the gematria, since the light is flowing through, right, from a higher place or a more pnimi place, is flowing through the letter. So as a result of that, you're going to have a change in, in its manifestation. And so it's just like this. This is how it manifests itself. So he says, Ha Aleph the Milui Ha Hu Shabo Hu Bitsir Yud Vav Dalit. So he says the Aleph, that is the first letter of this name, looks like Yud Vav Dalit. That is the Chasadim. I guess he even says, I, I, I missed something. Let me read back. On the end of the second line, it says, Elo, uh, uh, So Ela Shehalokim de Chasid. So the Elokim de Chasid starts with the letter Aleph, right? Elokim always starts with Aleph. Ha Aleph de Miloi Hu Shabo Hu Betsir Yovi. I call this Yovi. So I said it last year. So Yovi is actually Gematria of 26, which is the name of Avaya. So we understand that this is going to be Chesed, because Avaya always means Rachamim, like that. V'shalah Gevurah Betzirah Yovat. 
I call your brother. Maybe I'm making a mistake. I don't know. But nobody told me not to do this, so I'm just doing it. So if it's Yud Vav Dawit. This is a different gematria. This is a gematria of 20. <coughs> this is in Gevuros. The Gevuros look like the, like they start with a letter Aleph, and the Aleph is spelled, is spelled differently. And then the next one would be spelled with Yud, Yud Vav Yud, Yud or Yud Vav Dawit. Turn the bottom around. You may have seen this around someplace. Kaniska the Eir Bedrosh Rishon. This is all mentioned up above in the first drosh. Be'inyan Shtei Kaisis. Where was it mentioned? Mentioned well be in the drosh on Pesach. We deal with the the uh, the two coasts uh, of on uh, the third and the fourth coast, and then you have to look over there if you want any more about that. Okay, now we covered it. So if you didn't understand it. Well, you know, come to chat back to me and let me know because I give very little feedback. So I really don't know what people understand, what they don't understand. As uh, I do nothing but want to think about this and I want to say it over. Uh, I think, that, as I said before, the trick is it takes something that it takes years of study, really, to understand, uh, to be familiar with the word, to be able to use the word. I mean, a halavai, you start young. If you were able to start young, you really would know something much, much bigger than me. So let's go to the next one. He says, now now that we understand we have chasad and the das, gavur is the das, we understand this is such a thing as a milui that we could change the hay in the middle of the name Elohim and we could switch it around and make it a hay aleph instead of a hay yud or a hay hay. What does this do for us? Well, we're not here to discuss it, but we know we can do that. <laughs> so that's the one we're talking about. That's the Elohim that we're talking about that has to do with our subject of lag ba'omer or lag ba'omer. So he said, Bir Hashem Akiva. He said, Lachain Nikra Akiva. Because so therefore, since we understand this concept of Das, and the Das is the Gavuros, and he has also these Chasadim, now we're going to understand the Kiva. Now, what's the Akiva? What the Kiva means like the what to Akev, the Ma'akev, to hold something back, or it's a heel, or what? Ki Shlosha Osius Akiv. So he says that the so Akiva is made out of two sets of words, he says. One is Yud, uh, Yud in Aleph, and the other one is the word Akiv. So if you add that up, you're going to see that it comes out of Elohim is 186. It's going to be 192. The Chesed Gevura, and it refers to Chesed Gevura. One is Elohim, as we said, where the Aleph is spelled one way, and the other one is an Elohim with an Aleph spelled a different way. So the other two letters, Yod Aleph Min that has to do with the fact that you have one of them, the Tziurim, the, uh, the uh, he says, So you have one that is a Yud, that is Yud Vav Dawit, where the Yud is Yud Vav Yud. And you have another one, which is a Yud Vav Dawit, which is, which, which is uh, where is it, Tzir, is Yuvad. Yud Vav Dawit sounds more like what you have a Dawit. So this refers to these two letters. As I said before, it adds up to 26. 26 is chesed, right? It's not mamash chesed, but it represents the side of chesed, the pull to chesed. So, that's the yud vav dalad in, in uh, Akiva that we, we see in the uh, letter yud. But Nimsaki Shne Osius Yud and Aleph Shal Akiva, so therefore we find that the two letters of Yud and Aleph that come from the name Akiva, Heim Shne Tsiuri Alafim Shal Shne Elokem. So one is a Yud Vav Yud, and the other letter, the Aleph, is a Yud Vav Dawit. Haramoza Bishlosha Osius Akiv Min Akiva. So this is a remez then to the three letters of Akiv that come from Akiva. So let me go on with this because I didn't understand it real well myself. So I'm going to read the tiv on this. This is paid, found on page Kufpehe. Let's see if we can't understand it better. So as we said that we're going to take the name Akiba, we're going to try to put it together. He says, So that's the reason why his name is called Akiba. So we have the word Akev, and we have the word, the letters Yud and Alef. This name is actually a reference or tell us this, the secret of the root of his, his neshama. How's that? So we said before that he his root is in the gavuros of das, 
of the das of Zeranpe. The nears must be sheme a bishmo baofen ze. So how do we see this out of his name? I'm going to read this slowly because I don't really get 100 percent myself. Let me see something. I'm having problems downloading this. YouTube doesn't like me anymore. So I don't know what to do. So so he said the ship das and the near must be shmo baofen ze. Shte shameless elokim de das. So there are two different types of Elohims in Das. One is Chesadim and the other one is Gevuros. Olim Ekev Me'akiba. So those Elohim, so when you see the, na the names uh, of the name Ekev, it's two times Elohim. So it means that it's referring to the Elohims that you found find in Das. One on the right side, which is Chesed. One on the left side, which is Gevuros. But Osius Yod Aleph on the Saro, so the Leosi of the letters uh, that are remaining letters. Romazen the Tsiri Os Aleph, the Milui He He Aleph, the Elokim. So they are a reference to the formations of the letter Aleph. Aleph could be, as I said before, spelled Yud Vav Yud or Yud Vav Dalit. Achilob Achilukim Ben Chesad in the Gevuras, which are the difference between what 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 does the Elokim of Gevuras look like because it ends in the Aleph looks like a Yud, then a slash and then a Dawid, or those are Chesad in which it looks like a Yud and a slash and then another Yud. The Os Aleph Romazes La Aleph De Itri De Chesadim. So the one that looks like the Aleph that we're used to seeing is the one that goes with Chesadim. Shuhu b'tzir yud vav yud. G'tzir alav shutzirazu yud l'mala. Vav v'yud chafucha l'mata. And it turned around yud down below. V'oz vav be'emse v'lachson. And you have a vav in the middle, like on an angle. V'oz yud romasas le'itri de gevuros. So this yud itself, he wants to say, is a reference to the gevuros. Shuhu alav shal milui he alav b'tzir yud. Now this is a part I don't understand really well. Says that the Os Yud is a reference to the Itra of Gavuros. Now, why Yud? Why not the Aleph? So he says there's Yud and Aleph missing out of the name of his name. Shu Aleph shall milui he Aleph because what Aleph is this anyway that we're concerned about? This Aleph is an Aleph that, that, that is in the middle of the name Elohim. Because in the name Elohim, you have a He in the middle. The He in the middle can be spelled three different ways He Yud, He Aleph, or He He. So in this case, this this Elohim has to do with the letter Aleph. So the He Aleph. Bitsir Yud Vav Dawid. The Milui Ha Aleph. Bitsir Yud Vav Dawid. So that's that Aleph that's in there in this particular case is going to be the left hand Aleph, which is Yud Vav and then a Dawid down, down below it. It's not a regular Aleph like the one we see all the time. Tsuras Aleph Shehi Yud Lamala. The Dawid the Fucha Lamata. And it has a Dawid turned around Dawid down below. And then the vav in the middle on an angle. Shehim ha osio shall os yud male, which are the letters of the letter yud, which are male. That's the shear for today. <laughs> See if you can go over that again. You have to understand that Elohim, that the light shines through an Elohim like it's a prism. It shines through those letters. You change a letter so that you have you have Aleph, Lamed, K in the middle. That K in the middle has spelled K Aleph. That Aleph is actually in the form of a Yud on the top and a turned around Dalit on the bottom and a Vav and a Laksal on an angle. That's what he says the way that the light shines at us through the Gavuros. That's it.